Hey guys and welcome to episode 1 of the Ultimate Euro 2016 new series that I am actually going to be bringing to my channel. It's going to be difficult, it's a serious challenge. I am going to be playing division matches during the whole course of this series and it's going to be running throughout uh, the Euro 2016 competition. I'm really, really excited. So if you are needing Ultimate Team Coins before you get into the rules, head over to VivaUltimateTeamCoins.com, links below in the description. Use the code Fuji, get yourself a discount or if you are wishing to purchase games, head over to G2A and use the code Fuji. So the rules rules are very simple. We are going to be basing our upgrades on real life results from the Euro 2016 competition. So as we know, France beat Romania yesterday, which was the opening game. Fantastic goal from Dimitri Payet to win them the match. So with that, that unlocks a potential of a French upgrade. If Romania won, then France would have been ignored and we would have gone for a Romanian upgrade. If the match is a draw, then we would either bring in a French or a Romanian, depending on what we'd like to do. So in every single match, there is a possibility of unlocking six Euro token. So one for scoring a goal, one for scoring three goals with the side, then that's cut off. One for a win, one for keeping a clean sheet, one for a man of the match performance. So from the most recent upgrade that we bring in, if they do well, we get an extra token for that. And then we also get one for a rage quit. So this is where the ladder system comes into play. So if we get two tokens from that match, we can upgrade accordingly. So from rare silver, that would be worth one token. Non-rare gold is two tokens and so on. So depending on what's been going on in real life we're able to upgrade like to rares if we do well in the game or, or special cards and i'm really excited to get this underway so if you like the sound of the series drop a like and let's meet the team so as the euro 2016 competition is being held in france i thought i'd start off with a full non-rare french team and it just so happens to be that the first game as well is france versus romania and france did win 2-1 so we are going to maybe be able to bring in a rare french player a, a gold a, a team of the season who knows what well, we could lose and bring in a non-rare it depends how well we do in the first game so i did go with a 4-3-3 formation but with it we're not restricted on what we can use so during the series we can change it up and if we do get smashed in divisions then we can go back to the drawing board and yeah and we can sort it out let's go into the first game here we go to start things off and what is that a full well not a full i was about to say full england team and no, it's tottenham oh my god harry kane is just going to destroy my silver keeper oh Oh dear. Watch him, watch him, watch him, watch him. Oh, he's got the pace on me. He's... Uh, oh my god, he actually sweated it. <laughs> he sweated it. And he missed. Oh, I was scratching my nose. No. Good challenge. I still can't come, come away with it. Whoa, Jesus. Where did that come from? Um, okay, uh, clean sheet. We cannot keep a clean sheet. Keep, oh my god, he's popped it. He's, he's gone. Jesus. That's automatically kicked it against my own defender. Please win that. Okay. Well, it's Harry Kane versus a non-rare silver. Who's going to win? Chin. Uh, they, they, they just go in. So it's going to help. Just going to help slightly. Oh, what pace from Kujia. Just, just shoot it, please. Yes. 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 Oh, my God. He's actually scored. Thank God for that. We get a rare upgrade at least. Oh, my God. What a goal. <laughs> yes. What is the keeper doing? One shot, one goal is typical. I'm getting absolutely smashed in this game. But ever since I went all out attack, his defense had to drop back. So it's perfect. I'm keeping on that tactic. I don't care if we lose. We're going to score more goals. So he's got a lot of players in the midfield. I'm finding it very difficult to get past just the line of midfield. That's a lovely ball to Ulum. Um. Oh. Navillo, turn. That's it. Go on, turn again. Oh, now he gets going. Now, what are you doing? So he's just put his, put his foot on it. Oh, Navillo. Can we find him in the middle? Oh, look at that What? Like, oh my god. Full time it is, and as expected, we got absolutely smashed. And uh, yeah, it's a building process, though. Rome wasn't built in a day. So with the one euro token, we're able to bring in a rare French player. And I've just shortlisted three. We've got a uh, Kologi Jack. In Zogbia and also at Kingsley Coman, but we don't have to bring in uh, one of these players. If you want me to maybe bring in a defender, another defender, another midfielder, an attacker, drop their names in the comment section. But I've just shortlisted these three. Maybe we could bring in Coman for a bit of pace up front, but I'm open to suggestions, man, because the team sucked. It was very, very bad. There was no sort of build up play in the middle, it was just awful touches and very, very poor passing. But like I said, with the actual matches that are going to be played tonight, we're then going to start doing uh, two games an episode and really get this series in full force so if you have enjoyed make sure to drop a like if you like sort of the concept of the series let me know in the comments as well and yeah i'll be releasing this every single day around about seven o'clock at night so yeah thanks
thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode. Team out. Peace.